Today we'll see how to work with endorsements in Leon. By endorsements we mean the crew and staff documents. First we need to define the list of all of them in the system to be able to assign them to particular users. To do that we go to settings, crew endorsements. Here we'll have a list of the ones added to the system. To add a new one we click new endorsement and fill in the form. The name, the type, Ignore the passport option, passports should always be entered in the user's profile, not via the endorsement setup. Warn if expired when adding a flight, very useful. And the order on the list. Validity time, so how long it is valid for and how it should revalidate itself. So if the expiry date is on the 20th of May 2020, let's say, and we revalidate the endorsement at any point between 21st of April and 20th of May, the new expiry date will be 20th of May 2021. If this box is ticked, the expiry date will be extended until the end of the month, so in this case 31st of May 2021. Action required when expiring. Here we can enter some remarks that will be added to the email notification sent to the crew member upon expiring of the endorsement. And here we set who the endorsement is for. The most crucial part of this mechanism is that the endorsements are assigned to ratings, not particular names. So we create endorsements for pilot, flight attendants, ground staff and so on. Please bear that in mind. So we mark the ratings, if we're creating a license let's do that for captains on this aircraft type. We can add it for all aircraft types if the endorsement applies, but in this example we'll use one. This way the endorsement will only be applied to the pilots who have ratings for that particular aircraft type. You can notice there's an aircraft type ground. Just a side note, this one is used to create endorsements for ground staff. This aircraft is added to your fleet just like any other aircraft and is free of charge. For more information please watch the video on fleet setup which I will link above and include in the description below. Once we are happy with the setup we click update. You can see the endorsement appeared on the list as available for cockpit, so captains, for this aircraft type. Now, for the endorsement to be available for our crew member, we need to make sure they have the appropriate ratings. So we go to Settings Users, and in the Users profile we mark the appropriate ratings if it still hasn't been done. We created a license for captains on Citation, so we need to add the captain rating here. These have to be exactly the same as set in the endorsement definition, so if we created an endorsement for CPT only, and we give this crew member CPT2, the endorsement will not be assigned. The ratings have to match. Ok, once we have the ratings sorted, we can go and add endorsement details. To do that, we go to the full users profile and in the tab personal endorsements, we can fill in the details. The definitions will be listed automatically thanks to the ratings, but the rest has to be obviously filled in manually. If the endorsement does not have an expiry date, we can put three X's, which means never expires. We can add some notes and attach scans. Online familiarization and airport recency refer to airport endorsements, which are a separate functionality. You can find out more about these in the video airport directory, which I will link above and include in the description below. Basically, you can mark the online familiarization and the airport recency required in the airport directory and when the pilot flies to such airport, it will appear here and you'll be able to enter the expiry date and so on. Or you can add required airports manually by entering the code, clicking create and filling in the details. Based on those dates, Leon will issue warnings in the schedule if the pilot is not current for a given airport. But back to regular endorsements, we've discussed how to add the details in the user's profile and here we have a page with all endorsements in one place. Crew endorsements. We want to make sure we set the filter to exactly what we need. Now we are showing all endorsements in the system. 
The red ones are always at the top, they are expired or missing information. They will flag as warnings in the schedule. The yellow ones are under a month to expire and the black ones are okay over a month to expire. If we click on the endorsement, we'll be taken to the user's profile so it's like a shortcut if you want to fill in the details this way. Now, when the endorsements are expired or do not have the issue date entered, they will provoke warnings when we're adding a flight. The warning will be issued when we are trying to save the flight and even if we decide to go on, it will still be flagging in the schedule. We can hover the mouse over the code and in the crew tab. Ok, so that's the endorsements, now we can see how to set up endorsement notifications. We go back to settings crew endorsements and go to the tab mailing rules. In here we can set up custom rules, as many as needed, for the email notifications. We activate the feature here, click add new rule and set up the details. The name it can be anything, let's do one for the license maybe. Intervals, so when the email is sent out, by default it's 10, 30 and 90 days before the expiry date, but it can be anything you need. Recipients, so the person actually concerned, the pilot who owned that endorsement, and maybe some additional recipients that you may want, like ops department or crew planners, we select those by name. Here is who the email concerns, so cockpit in this case, and the actual endorsement or endorsements. You can create as many of those rules as you need, they can be for different types of endorsement, different groups, seasons, that's completely up to you. And here you can see an example of an endorsement email notification received by a crew member. Ok, that's it, now you know how to work with endorsements in Leon. If you have any questions, feel free to visit our online manual or contact our support team.